doors are incredibly essential parts of I would say 99% of the maps that you'll be playing on there's at least one door on almost all of them but how do they work and how do your miniatures move through them and use them so right now we are staring at three clone troopers in the streets of Coruscant and there are some doors you can see what indicates a door is the light blue rectangular parts you can see where the doors are there there are some more doors uh, by the casino right now that door is locked and shut in the first move phase the clone will come up to it now because there is a clone in touching touching the door adjacent to the door his move phase is finished because he's done all that he wants to do the door opens which lets his fellow miniature come through the door next turn when they get to move again once that clone that miniature leaves and is no longer touching the door it shuts but it shuts in that phase where because obviously you're moving two miniatures each phase you move two, your opponent moves two so at the end of the move phase for those two miniatures the door shuts because there's no one touching so then when it comes to the third clone he can come up to the door but it's not open because it's shut in the last phase he'll have to wait until the next time that he can move the next turn to get through that door now you could in a turn maybe sacrifice one of your characters to stand next to the door and let your whole entire squad move through the door it's totally up to you how that works now there are droids and there are special rules in the game um, that can determine whether doors stay open and closed throughout the whole entire game um, we'll go through those special rules in another video.